We, of course, have invested heavily in, in the port of Big Creek to ensure that those efficiencies uh, are being passed through to, to the industry as a whole, including the farmers. I can confirm to you that through that investment of BSIs at Big Creek, farmers saved uh, $3.1 million uh, on during the cane crop last, uh, it's just passed. That equates to an increase in cane price of $2.70 per tonne of cane. And similarly, from our investments in added value, direct consumption sugars, we made, we made those investments for, on behalf of the whole industry. We invested, but everybody would share that benefit through the value share agreement. So the, all of these strategic investments have been to grow the pie, to make it better for everybody. This morning, the Millers invited the press to see a few of those investments at their Tower Hill facility, which they made to increase the production of direct consumption sugar. As a result, those quality food grade products fetch a higher price for the benefit of both the mill and the farmers. But to afford them, ASR BSI had to be willing to invest significantly. Today was an opportunity to demonstrate uh, not only to the media but to the general public what it takes to take a sugar from a raw sugar state to full grade direct consumption. Um, we're selling in international markets in the US, in Canada, the Caribbean, in Europe, and the standards are extremely high. And one mistake can really tarnish your reputation. And that's why it's very important that what we do here is done to a very high standard that meets international uh, customer requirements. And that is a big part of the investment that occurred. So the media would have had an opportunity to see uh, some of those investments, the, the one that included the expansion of the boiling house. So adding um, new uh, vacuum pans, new centrifugals, uh, syrup clarifier, DSM screams. I'm sure the public will recall, you know, many years ago, you're storing your sugar and you would sometimes get little fibrous material all those things had to be addressed. You know, you put in um, the syrup clarifiers, you put in DSM screens, so that the sugar, the juice that you're uh, producing to produce direct consumption, consumption sugar is of a high quality and a high standard, right? So all of that had to go into to play. Then you go to the next part, which was the conditioning. So the sugar, by the time it gets to the customer, has to be in a free flowing state so that when they want to package and use it, it's not hard. It can be uh, consumed uh, in their operations or if it is for direct consumption of the package that they can package it easy. So the, you would have had an opportunity to see the investment in the conditioning building, right? So all the dryers, the silos, uh, which, you know, we had to put um, that investment to make sure that the sugar is of good standard when we pack it. Then you have the packaging facilities that have to be expanded and upgraded so that not only we can produce more, but also the, the equipment is there that you know can, is a higher rated capacity and can also uh, produce at a good quality standard. The value-added investments um, have been around 64 million uh, Belize dollars, right? Uh, we've had Big Creek, which is uh, was just over 30 uh, million Belize dollars as well. And then you've had the environmental projects, the water cooler, which you know we had a, a media day um, last year when we were going to start the crop and also the air emission. Those two projects combined are around 22 million. So in the last four years alone, we were talking about 110 million Belize dollars in investments expanding to produce more um, value-added sugar, improving the efficiency of sugar and molasses logistics, and then ensuring compliance with environmental. If you look at the, for the past uh, four years, since 2019, farmers are, have received close to $15 million more in revenue from these investments in direct consumption sugar. And so it's having uh, positive benefits, not only for us, but also for farmers. And it's also, we're also building a reputation uh, worldwide as a supplier of uh, good quality direct consumption sugar. And we quite, we're quite proud of that. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.